on hashtag Tanazagil. Let's pray together. You know, life is a journey that is full of ups and downs. In fact, you may find that at times there are more lows than there are highs. Life may throw stones at you. You know, you may receive punches from everyone. In fact, Paul's, Paul goes on to say in the book of Corinthians that we are pressed, we are squashed on all sides. So what do you do as a child of God when you are squashed, when you feel oppressed? The book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 6, reads as follows. For your sake, we face death all day long. We are considered as sheep to be slaughtered. Now, this talk about consistent persecutions, meaning that on a daily basis, we face persecutions. It can be persecution in your personal life, in your marriage, in your relationships, in your finances, in your health, in your career, you know. So, basically, it's a daily thing. And I also want to read 2 Corinthians chapter, eight, chapter 1, verses 8b to 9. Here, Paul refers to their experience in Asia, but we know that, you know, it, it is a general thing for most people, especially Christians. We were under great pressure, far beyond our ability to endure, so that we despaired even of life. Indeed, in our hearts, we felt the sentence of death. But this happened that we might not rely on ourselves, but on God. Now, I know that I have been under great pressure, beyond my own ability to endure. But here, Paul says that these things happen so that we do not rely on our own strength, but we rely on God. So, child of God, you must understand that as a child of God, you will be tested beyond your own ability so that the strength of God can rise in you, so that the power of God can be demonstrated through your life. Now, after all is said and done, when there's nothing left for you to do, it, you find that you don't have any strength to push yourself forward or even just to lift yourself up. You have no choice but to rely on God's strength. It is in our own weaknesses where God is strong, you know, where God's strength is demonstrated. In the book of Proverbs 24, verses 16, it says, For though a righteous man may fall seven times, he rises again. So when you are the righteousness of God, you will fall seven times. In fact, you must fall because if you don't fall, then there is no opportunity for God to demonstrate who he is in your life. Psalm 34 verses 19. A righteous man may have many troubles, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. He protects all his bones. Not one of them will be broken. Now a righteous man may have many troubles, so righteous child of God, you will have many troubles, but your God will deliver you out of them all. Not one of your bones will be crushed. Hashtag Tanazaka, Tanazaka.